One learns by doing, Zia said. This is not school, Sadie. You cannot learn magic by sitting at a desk and taking notes. You can only learn magic by doing. But summon whatever power you can, Zia said. Use whatever you have available. Begin! I look at Carter doubtfully. Use whatever I have. I opened the leather satchel and looked inside. A lump of wax? Probably not. I drew the wand and rod. Immediately the rod expanded until I was holding a two meter long white staff. Carter drew his sword. Though I couldn't imagine what he'd do with it, rather hard to hit me from ten meters away. I wanted this over, so I raised my staff like I'd seen Zia do. I thought of the word fire. A small flame sputtered to life on the end of the staff. I willed it to get bigger. Fire momentarily brightened, but then my eyesight went fuzzy. The flame died. I fell to my knees, feeling as if I'd run a marathon. You okay? Carter called. No, I complained. If she knocks herself out, do I win? He asked. Shut up, I said. Sadie, you must be careful, Zia said. You drew from your own reserves, not from the staff. You can quickly deplete your magic that way. I got shakily to my feet. Explain. A magician begins a duel full of magic, the way you might be after a f be full after a good meal. Which I never got, I reminded her. Each time you do magic, Zia continued, you expend energy. You can draw energy from yourself, but you must know your limits. Otherwise, you could exhaust yourself, or worse. I swallowed and looked at my smoldering staff. How much worse? You could literally burn up. I hesitated, thinking how to ask my next question without saying too much. But I've done magic before. Sometimes it does not exhaust me. Why? From around her neck, Zia unclasped an amulet. She threw it into the air, and with a flash, it turned into a giant vulture. The massive black bird soared over the ruins. As soon as it was out of sight, Zia extended her hand, and the amulet appeared in her palm. Magic can be drawn from many sources, she said. It can be stored in scrolls, wands, or staves. Amulets are especially powerful. Magic can also be drawn straight from the mat using the divine words, but this is difficult. Or, she locked eyes with me, it can be summoned from the gods. Why are you looking at me? I demanded. I didn't summon any gods. They just seemed to find me. She put on her necklace, but said nothing. Hold on, Carter said. You just claimed this place was sacred to our family. It was, Zia agreed. But wasn't this... Carter frowned. Didn't the pharaohs have a yearly festival here or something? Indeed, she said. The pharaoh would walk down the professional path all the way to the Karnak, from the Karnak to the Luxor. He would enter the temple and become one with the other gods. Sometimes this was purely ceremonial. Sometimes, with the great pharaohs like Ramses, here. Zia pointed to one of the huge crumbling statues. They actually hosted the gods, I interrupted, remembering what Iskandarin said. Zia narrowed her eyes. And yet you claim to know nothing of your family's past. Wait a second, Carter protested. You're saying that we're related to... The gods chose their hosts carefully, Zia said. They always prefer the blood of pharaohs. When a magician has the blood of two royal families... I exchanged looks with Carter. Something Bast had said came back to me. Your family was born to magic. And Amos had told us both sides of our family had a complicated history with the gods and that Carter and I were the most powerful children to be born in centuries. A bad feeling settled over me, like an itchy blanket prickling against my skin. Our parents are from different royal lines, I said. Dad, he must be descended from Narmer, the first pharaoh. I told you he looked like that picture. It's not possible, Carter said. That was 5,000 years ago. But I could see that his mind was racing. Then the Faustus... He turned to Zia. Ramses the Great built this courtyard? You're telling me our mom's family is descended from him? Zia sighed. Don't tell me your parents kept this from you. Why do you think you two are so dangerous to us? You think we're hosting gods? I said. I was absolutely stunned. That's what you're worried about? Just because of something our great times a thousand grandparents did? That's completely daft. Then prove it, Zia said. Duel, and show me how weak your magic is.